Good morning, dear fellow liberals. I should start by apologizing you that I'm not able to be with you here this morning. But there are moments in uh, even a politician's life when he must choose a family over a lovely breakfast in Brussels. This morning we will enjoy a very interesting exchange on the tasks and, and ideas behind the Latvian presidency. I should start by saying that I'm glad that Latvian presidency has put uh, so much high emphasis on giving to the competitiveness. Competitiveness of EU economy is an important aspect that tends to be forgotten when you see problems uh, all around the world, when we see problems in the EU uh, that it, uh, it faces. But in competitiveness, competitiveness is the basis and the important aspect that is also a, one of the core uh, issues why we have such a problems with our debt crisis. Competitiveness is also a factor uh, where you should look mostly on yourself. What you have done, what EU has done to deserve its place uh, in, in the world, to deserve the uh, well-being of its people. We have received an unearned dividend. The people today are experiencing a drop in oil prices. United States dollar is becoming stronger. And uh, Mr. Draghi has announced that he believes in weak euro. These three aspects will create additional growth to European economy some say in the sort of 2 to 3% of GDP. Whether this growth will be sustainable, it's up to us, European politicians. Till now, we have done a lot to talk about competitiveness. Maybe it's time to at least start doing things better. I would suggest, as the Latvian presidency also stresses, to start by eliminating barriers in the single market. Create a real single market. Create a single market for goods, for services, for digital Europe, which is one of the priorities of, Europe, of this uh, presidency for, of Latvia. I just last week met a lovely girl in Riga who is an entrepreneur. Uh, she's actually self-employed in an uh, older version of how you look at employ employers and employees. And uh, she is uh, working in a field which is a very re relative novelty in Europe. It's called social media services. And she sells those services in three countries, sitting every day in Riga and uh, employs herself. To do just that, she has set up four companies in three different countries in order to avoid specific tax uh, problems, in order to be able to, uh, to uh, register its activities on, on different uh, regulating environments. Why we do that? Do you think any, anywhere in, in the United States somebody would face such a thing if you need to work in a single market, if you look at the United States market and at the European market, you will see this big difference that in the United States market you only have need one registration and you will get the results. Latvian presidency has put a specific emphasis on ending, on ending the negotiations with the United States on the TTIP. I was glad being part of giving mandate on TTIP in 2013 as a then representative from the Latvian government. I really hope that we will not lose this opportunity to create a single area of trade rules, which will then transfer to all over the world. And the third issue, we have a security issue right in neighbor, neighboring Europe. Just these recent days, Russia has attacked Ukraine again, invaded Mariupol, shelling with the Grads and other uh, armor 
its citizens of Mariupol. We must stay, stay united. In, in, we need to ask aggressor to stop its activities. We need to support Ukraine by supporting it through its path of reforms, by supporting its activities. Thank you for listening to me, and I really hope you will have a lovely discussion this morning. Bye.